right in time for the new Dark Angel supplement release, a friendly reminder that we in the Death Watch had the OPSEC Outriders first. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to build Ravenwing inspired Death Watch Outriders, which will make a great addition to any for this skill team. The methods applied in this video can of course also be used as an inspiration to build the Ravenwing Outriders for an actual Dark Angels army. Welcome to Swiss Hammer, your channel for modeling in Warhammer 40k. Here you will find tools and guides as versatile as a Swiss army knife to help you build your army. My name is Temer and I will be guiding you through this video. In case you end up liking this content, please feel free to subscribe. With that out of the way, let's get started. The models used in this video are the ones from the Indomitus box, but they share the same frames as the ones available as a separate purchase in a box of three. Unfortunately, the shoulder pads on these guys are already attached to the arms, so there is a little clipping work required when exchanging the shoulder pads. The good news is that at least most of the arms come as separate pieces, which makes the cutting work a little easier. The general way to go about this is to cut away as much of the existing shoulder pad as possible. If you end up chipping away a little extra, no worries, just fit it back up with green stuff once you go about placing the new shoulder pad. On the left arm we want the Death Watch shoulder pad. On the right arm we want the original chapter shoulder pad of choice. For the purpose of this video that would be the Dark Angels one. One of the models is the Sergeant of the Squad, easily noticeable by not wearing a helmet. If you share my dislike for unhelmeted space marines, the helmet can also be cut away and you can fit the helmeted head on the model instead. To cover up any cutting marks on the leg armor, one easy solution is to place a pouch or purity seal over it. The replacement of the shoulder pads on this model is as previously described. Just remove the already existing pad. The same applies to the second outrider of the squad. Just like with the sergeant, the arms are separate and each has the shoulder pad already pre-attached. The left arm on the third outrider is a little different though. One piece of the arm is already attached to the torso and the shoulder pad is directly attached to the wrist. While this might look confusing at first, the replacement is actually the simplest. Just cut away the shoulder pad and then put a little green stuff inside of the replacement shoulder pad before gluing it to the model. With the shoulder pad out of the way, let's have a look at how to add a touch of Ravenwing to them. For this, we will be using the Ravenwing Accessory Pack, which was originally intended for the firstborn Ravenwing units such as bikes and land speeders. Nonetheless, with a few adjustments, many of these parts can be used for a conversion without riders. I have highlighted the parts that I personally used for this conversion, but of course that selection is completely up to the personal imagination. One thing to consider though is that the winged frontal plate covering the twin bolt guns won't fit on the outriders. What I personally did is to cut away the wings and put one of them on each side of the bike. There are also a variety of icons and purity seals that can be used at your own discretion, displaying additional seniority, for example. As a final touch, I added some third-party 
hooded primary style helmet, as I wanted to use the hoods but didn't like the standard firstborn version that comes with the Dark Angels upgrade kits. Also, for these specific models, I have used the chapter symbols to glue on for the right shoulder pad, but as previously covered, it would of course be perfectly possible to use the full Dark Angel shoulder pads that come with the Ravenwing accessory pack. What can also be seen on this particular picture is that I removed the helmet attached to the leg armor, then used the purity seal to cover up the deed. So how would I go about bringing them in a Death Watch army? With the January Space Marine FAQ, Outriders have gone up to 50 points each, making them a pricey pick. By including them in a 40 skill team, the Death Watch can still get some additional benefits out of them though. They count as troops and gain OPSEC. Their squad size can be up to 5 and for as long as they are mixed with intercessors, they also gain the infantry keyword. I cover the forest kill team in greater detail in a separate video, which I have linked in the description below. When the Death Watch supplement originally came out, lists spamming forest kill teams with outriders kept popping up. Seeing up to three such kill teams was pretty common, personally. I think that together with the points increases for some of the Indometer kill team models, the overall tax on a 2k points list for such a thing is too great by now. Running one for this kill team in combination with a chaplain or captain on bike can still bring decent mobility and close combat power to a Death Watch army though. I also think that now at 50 points per model, the Outriders need some sort of extra protection, be it the Intercessor's bodies and or access to invul safes and or feel no pain, which could be done through a captain with the Dominus Aegis relic or a nearby librarian. To wrap things up, replacing the shoulder pads on the Outriders requires a bit of cutting work, but as the arms come separate from the rest of the models, the process is not so difficult. Furthermore, with the help of the old Ravenwing accessory pack, the Outriders can be done in the style of the Ravenwing. Obviously, this could also be done for a regular Dark Angels army. When running them in a Death Watch army, I recommend doing so in a 40 skill team, in which case they can benefit from OPSEC. Furthermore, for as long as they remain with at least one intercessor in the combat squad, they also gain the infantry keyword. So that's it for the Outriders. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have you guys been doing your own Outrider conversions already? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any suggestions on what Space Marine models I shall cover next, feel free to leave your suggestions. And if this video has been helpful, please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Thank you again and see you soon.